Happy Easter everyone. We visited the King Philip restaurant in Phillipston, Massachusetts for their Easter brunch, and here is our review. Enjoy. Hi guys, happy, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Bernie here. Aaron. Perfect and events and catering. So people have asked us, where do professional chefs go on an Easter if you guys don't cook? Well, we've been here before. We actually went here for Thanksgiving, and now we wanted to try them for Easter. Place is, well, let me get it. There we go. There you go. King Phillips in Phillipstown, Massachusetts. Yeah, I know we live in New Hampshire, but there's something about Whatever. this place. I know. Uh, and, and we travel everywhere. This we, we, had a, we had a great time here for Thanksgiving. Um, prices were reasonable. We wanted to find out what uh, this place is like for Easter, and uh, we're gonna go check it out. So we'll give you a full report. We'll we'll do some uh, some video clips, and then we'll come back here for a recap. I'm starving. Let's, Let's go. go. Okay, so we just got sat down, um, and you know, King Phillips has a lot of potential. It really does. Um, the food is good. Um, Aaron got the. Uh, eggs benedict with the hollandaise sauce and when you're supposed to cut into the egg it's supposed to be nice and runny and all that good stuff and it was just completely hard boiled um, the hostess looks like she's razzled and frazzled and looks like she's trying to get things under control but I know she's doing her best uh, so far we've had a couple of the uh, food items that looks pretty good um, but uh, we'll let you know what's what transpires after a couple more plates. Here's the menu. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. All right, so we went for a second round. Aaron's almost finished. He got the same thing I did, which looks like this. Did you get it's shrimp the too? shrimp. Well, this right here is supposed to be shrimp and scallop scampi. I see the scallops, but I don't see the shrimp. Then we have the chicken ham and carbonara. That is delicious. This is actually my set. Yes, there is chicken. I've had chicken and ham carbonara. My second helping, and it's really good. And then we got the fried whole clams. We'll see what happens. All right, so back to the menu for one quick second here. The one thing that I definitely want to mention is when you mention vegetable medley on a menu, I think you need to describe the vegetable medley. Because a lot of people do have allergies and this particular vegetable medley has eggplant in there and there is one person that is allergic to eggplant so unfortunately she cannot have the vegetable medley I can't have vegetables unless I eat salad right so you got you have more shrimp more yep. of the I got clams. Clams. The mashed potatoes with the au jus sauce. Which I think you're crazy. It's good. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and how's the prime rib? Prime rib is really good. So here's mine. That is crazy. My mashed potatoes and I got some shrimp as well. This looks amazing. I'll let you know how it is. Okay. So I dug into my meal. Making mashed potatoes with skin, I love it. I love the flavor. It's juicy. Um, it adds a texture to the mashed potatoes. Very, very good. Very seasoned well. Shrimp is really good. And then the uh, prime rib is also uh, really good and seasoned well. Yes, a lot of people going, this is much more than medium. It's good. I probably won't finish it. I'll probably get just another little piece. But all in all, so far so good. All right, Aaron, what do you got? So I've got their house salad, which has like, it's a, I, I believe it's their own ranch dressing that they make. 
um, because it, it is a very thin dressing, but it's really good. Um, and then I've got their Caesar salad. It looks like there's a ton of dressing on it, but there really isn't. Um, I don't, I don't know what. I I think it's like a. I don't want to call it a thick Caesar salad dressing, yeah. but I mean it's coated well, barely, and I had it. It's really good. You barely taste the Caesar, like you barely taste the dressing, but it looks like there's a ton of it on there. So um, I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but yeah, their salad. I mean cucumbers, tomatoes, spinach leaves, um, black olives. It's a beautiful presentation up there. Um, but yeah, just salads. All right, there um, you go for your salad people. And then I've got my fruit salad. So it's got oranges and pineapple, cantaloupe, um, honeydew, and grapes. There we go. All right, salad, fruit. Oh, I can't move. Yeah, I'm so stuck. <laughs> All right. So again, King Phillips. Ah, oh, you know we try to make a short video of this, but uh, it was look, good. it was it overall it was good. The wait, the the wait staff could could have been a little bit better. The it's not it's not their fault. It's just the way that they do it. So in other words, the waitress had tables everywhere. It wasn't she had a, a particular section. She had a table of twelve. She had a table of fourteen, and then obviously they had us with a table of two and everything. They it just took a long time to get stuff. They've got four different rooms of tables, and our waitress literally had a table in each room. The one thing that I'm going to say, however, is the the staff that's, that takes care of the whole buffet, that chef and his assistants or whatever, were, fan were phenomenal. They were on really on top of things. Everything was good. Um, as we mentioned earlier, the vegetable medley, I mean, if you're going to have a listing like that, List out what's in the vegetable medley because again, some people do have, you know, allergies and such. I mean, I get it. You know, you're you're doing it, and it's pretty much whatever vegetables are are in season, which I get. But you're printing it out on a piece of paper. It's not that hard to put in what it is. Exactly. Especially when you're doing it for that day. Right. Um, I had the Bloody Mary. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't recommend the Bloody Mary. When my Bloody Mary came out. Let me take a step back. Aaron ordered an iced tea and my Bloody Mary came out. I couldn't tell which one was the Bloody Mary and the iced tea yes, because the Bloody well. Mary had a weird color and it tasted awful. Um, we did have, the last time that we came in here, we, we did have one with our Thanksgiving dinner. Fan, fan, that was really good. Cupcake. Yeah, cupcake, exactly. And um, they have a good cake. wine selection. They have a good beer selection and stuff. But right now, for as far as cocktail drinks, uh, drinks, they're they're batting is they're batting one, uh, you know, zero point zero or whatever you want to call it. So, all in all, it was really good. Um, I didn't really have any complaints except for the eggs Benedict. Um, all that the was seafood way, was good. Way overcooked. The one thing we did see on the menu, it did say there were three items uh, in the carving station: um, ham, the prime rib. And also leg of lamb. I didn't see the leg of lamb, and I didn't see the. Um, I, I obviously we had the rib, but and uh, we didn't. I did not see the ham. I, did you? I, I did see the ham. Um, it was not a very big ham. It was very small. Um, I think I saw the leg of lamb, but it was more of like a thigh. It wasn't. <laughs> it was like a roast of lamb. Oh boy, I don't know. But anyway. Do we recommend this place? Absolutely. We've 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 come here for for uh, for Thanksgiving. We've we've come here for Easter. You know this place is quaint. It's it's over seven years old. It was built right after World War II. Um, a lot of changed hands. Yes, it's a function hall. Yes, it's a restaurant. And believe it or not, it's a motor inn. So they do have motel rooms and such. It's a cute little place. I I would recommend it. If you really want a good buffet, they have buffets all through the year they have it on a wednesday night buffet they have a saturday night buffet buffet excuse me and then they have their specialty buffets uh for the holidays as well so um, if you switch the camera around you can see the hotel right there okay let's uh it's right right down there and then there it is so yeah motor in function room catering casual fine dining 
relaxed by the fire in in our lounge. We did eat when we had Thanksgiving. We did sit in the lounge, and that fireplace was was really cool. So, King Philip Restaurant and Lounge. Thanks, guys. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Thank you.